start, we're going to select the route. This time we're using the Fort Kent. And now select the scenario. Now here's a problem. We would love to have that edit button available, but it isn't because the route is locked. So hit the play. And after starting up, I'm going to close all the windows and roll down to the bottom of the screen and click on that little globe icon, which is called the World Editor. And right beside the play button on the lower right hand side of the screen is a little icon that looks like a lock. Click on that. And the lock icon changes to an open padlock and we're prompted to click OK, which will unlock the route. At this point, we're ready to edit. One could quit the scenario at this point through any of the normal ways you leave a scenario, such as entering play and then clicking the quit icon. However, we can go directly to editing by choosing the upper left flyout and then selecting the scenario tool. Again, we'll be prompted to save the route changes since we've unlocked it. And after clicking twice, we'll move to editor mode. That's not the usual technique, so we're going back to the beginning. Again, selecting the Fort Kent route. And the scenario that we wish to edit. This time, of course, it is unlocked. So the edit button is available to us. We've entered editing mode. First stop is the upper left hand flyout and make sure that the scenario tool has been selected. Our objective here is very limited. In this editing session, we are simply going to move some cars around in the yard to make the simulation more complex. Using the arrow keys on the keyboard, we're going to move into the yard. And we'll start by relocating a few of the cars to mix the strings. Click on a car and simply drag it to its new location. Again, clicking on a car, placing it in its new location. But the strings now have been separated. In our next operation, we want to move them together. Of course, the cars could be moved one at a time, but there's a more efficient technique. Click on the lower left-hand flyout and then click right there at the Consist Select. Now we'll be able to move sets of cars. Clicking on this first car, we've selected both that first car and the second car. We can drag them and they'll move as a unit. Again, moving those two cars as a unit, we are able to reassemble the strings. We could continue this process as long as necessary. However, let's assume that this setup is what we desire, we can move to the play icon and we'll be prompted to save the changes in the current scenario. Let's take a look and make sure that those changes have actually occurred. 
So we'll start our engine up and move ahead and take a glimpse as to what's going on in the yard now. The cars that we arranged are in the far end of the yard, so we're moving our locomotive up. And as we can see, coming up on our left-hand side, the cars are in their new arrangement. Well, this is just a very brief introduction to a most simple scenario editing. If you find this to be at least a bit useful, Please comment and I'll continue this editing series. Hope it has been useful for you.